A surprise encounter is about to add an astonishing addition to our experience. On a neighboring slope up from the willows, a group of scientists from the Rocky Mountain Bird Observatory has set up in the shadows of the pines and is conducting interactive research with the tanagers. They have invited us to participate in the placement of geolocators on these precious captives. Um, this is a uh, second year bird. It was hatched sometime last year, second year male. And I know that because there are some replaced feathers and some retained feathers. Now an expansion of what used to be primarily a banding procedure incorporates geolocator technology. The harness is 1.2 grams. We're trying to stay 3% or less of the bird's total body weight. So as long as the bird weighs 25 grams. Tiny devices are carefully fastened to the birds, creating a future of research where defining exact flight patterns will become a reality. So th these aren't radio transmitters, they're a little geolocator in other words. It stores the information. Yes. And then you have to recapture that bird. Yep, and then download that information and get all the history uh -huh. as part of it. It's redefining how we understand migration. So it's the same method that they've used for years as far as banding birds, putting up nets, the mist nets. And you, you still have to capture the bird somehow. Capture the bird, band them, and let them go. Now we're banding them and putting a little backpack Pack on, on them. them and, then, and then let them loose. And why are we doing this? Well, what we're trying to do is conserve these species for the future. And oftentimes when people experience the outdoors, they see a bird, they, they say it's a blue bird or a, or a black bird. They, they identify it by color. But what we're hoping is through this experience is that folks who, who aren't familiar with birds get to know the individual species and then how far they travel. Their long-term conservation depends upon it.